Hey everyone at home or wherever you happen to be, I'm Miss Jamie and welcome to another episode of Art Explorations for Kids. Today we're going to discuss the color wheel and all the colors of the rainbow and why they come in the order that they do. So if you look at what I have here, some of you may know Roy G. Biv. And this is what you typically see in the rainbow, the different colors. And what this whole thing stands for is red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, and violet. So if we take these colors and we put them into our color wheel, this is what we end up with. And you see we have our reds going through our oranges, yellows, greens, blues, and purples. And why do they do this? Because each color is a blend of the next. And that's what we're going to practice today is our color theory and our mixing. And what we're going to focus on are our primary, secondary, and tertiary colors. So what I mean by that is our primary colors are our red, blue, and yellow. So if we take red and blue and mix them together, we get a secondary color, purple or violet, if we take our blue and our yellow, we get another secondary, green. And if we take our yellow and red, we get another secondary, our orange. And then our tertiaries are mixes of the secondary colors, and so on and so forth. There are an infinite number of colors, so we're just going to focus on a few today. So we're going to make our color wheel inside of an eyeball. And just to give you an idea of where we're going to end up, this is where our final sketch is going to be before we start coloring. And we're going to make sure that we put our colors inside of our iris. And the iris is the colored part of our eye, the pupil is the black part, and then this white part on the outside is the sclera. And we're going to focus on trying to get our eye to be just a little more anatomically correct than an almond shape. So for our eye, we're going to start off by doing a partial almond shape, curving up, and then bringing it in a little because the side of our eye kind of has a little bit of a divot. If you take a mirror and you look, you'll see just a little bit more of an indent towards the middle of your eye. And so we've drawn that, and now we're going to come around and complete the other side of the eye. So now what we want to do is draw in our iris, which is round. So if you want to do this very lightly, we're going to go over this line. And it doesn't have to be a perfect circle, just close to a circular shape. So we get the idea of our iris. And then we're going to draw our pupil right in the middle, which is another circle. If you would like a more perfect circle, you can also do a scavenger hunt around your house and find cans, paper towel rolls, all sorts of things to use as stencils and just work around and make your circle with those objects. And so finally, what we want to do is add in our sclera. And that's just the whole white part of our eye. And if you look at your eye in the mirror, you'll notice you have just a little bit of pink on the sides. So we're just going to make the curve. And this is the sclera. And make the curve here to outline the other side of our sclera. So now what we want to do is divide our eye up so that we have the different sections for our color wheel. 
So what we're going to do is start off by going just directly from the top to the bottom of our eye, right through the center of the iris. And then we're going to draw a line to make a cross right through the center of our iris again. Now we're going to divide each of these into three sections. So what you can do is make little points to show where you're going to draw your lines. Trying to keep these as even as possible. And again, this doesn't have to be perfect because what we want to do is show the color transitions. And that's what we're really concerned about is getting in our rainbow. So if you want, you can take a ruler and go from each dot to your center point that you've created in your iris or you can do it freehand without a ruler and practice doing straight lines. So now that we've gone ahead and created our eye, we're going to go ahead with our oil pastel and outline it and make sure that you color in your center pupil. And you can go ahead and press pause as you do this and I'm going to do the same and come back and see how you're doing. Okay, so now that we're back, you can see I've gone ahead and outlined my eye and I've colored in the pupil and now we're ready to start putting in our colors in our iris. What we're going to do is take the inside of our watercolor tin and use it as a palette and we're going to start off with our red. I've gone ahead and dipped my paintbrush in water and you'll see you have a variety of reds and you want to pick a red that's not too orange like this one and not to blue or purple, which is leaning into these right here. So I'm going to take this red from my palette and make sure I have plenty of color on the brush. And I'm going to pick a section and go ahead and color here. Now, you don't have to pick the same section that I'm doing your eye will probably be laid out a little bit more differently. Um, your sections may be in different areas, but we're gonna come up with the same result because we're doing the colors in the same order. So now that I've put down my red, I'm gonna go to our next primary color, blue. So I'm going to grab this blue up here. And then you're gonna wanna count over from your blank spaces one two three and four and in that fourth spot put down your blue all right and then we're going to go to our third color and make sure you're cleaning off your brush real well in between colors so that you don't get the colors mixed up in the pans. We're going to go to our yellow. And now you're going to count over the blank spaces again from the blue. One, two, three, four. And in that fourth spot, lay down your yellow. So now that we have our primaries down, we're going to put in our secondary colors. So we're going to take the center slot of each of these empty sections and make a mixture 
of the two colors that are beside it. So for this one, we're going to be mixing our red and blue, our blue and yellow for this one, and our yellow and red for this center one. So we're going to grab some of the red that we used before, and using the lid of our watercolors, we're going to use it as a palette put down some of our red and then grab some of our blue that we've used up here and what you want to do is create an even mixture of the two colors you can set your blue down beside the red and start mixing gradually and if you want to test out your color before you put it down in your color wheel you can test it on a spare sheet of paper and see if you feel like that is an even mixture of your two primaries. Okay, so I feel good about this mixture. I'm going to go ahead and color in that middle section between my red and my blue. Now we're going to repeat this same process, creating an even mixture for our blue and our yellow, and our yellow and our red. We're going to do what we did before and practice doing a mix of these two colors for our very middle empty spots here. So this mixture is going to be a mix of these two, our red and our purple. This mixture right here is going to be a mix of our blue and purple. So what we want to do is we want to make a purple here that is a little bit more warm and like our red. So we're going to take our red, put it down on our palette, and grab a little bit of our blue. and mix it in with the red. Now if you see that your mixture is leaning too much towards the blue, you can grab some more red, mix it in. Now remember, you can test your color before putting it down just to make sure that you're happy. Go ahead and lay that color down in that empty spot between the red and the purple. So now we're going to try to get a nice purple color that's leaning towards our blue on this end. And grab some of the blue and just a little bit of the red. And then, of 
we test it out here, you can see that this is much more blue than this purple. This one's leaning towards the red. That's the one we put in here. And this one's leaning towards the blue. I'm happy with that. So I'm going to go ahead and put it in. So now that you've completed this portion of the color wheel with me, you're going to go ahead and complete the rest of this and I'm going to go ahead and do the same and we'll come back and look at our color wheels together. So welcome back and let's look at our color wheels. You can see you should have the reds blending to purples, to blues, to green, yellow, orange, and back to our reds. So we've learned about the different parts of the eye. We've learned about different colors, color theory, mixing, and you can see how our colors all interact with each other. So if you are happy with your eye color wheel the way it is, you can go ahead and stop the video right now, and this will be the end of the beginner portion. However, if you would like to continue and do a little bit more detail uh, and go more in depth with your eye drawing, then stick around for the advanced portion. So welcome back for the advanced portion of our lesson. What we're gonna do is just add some more details into our eyes, like the eyelid, some eyelashes, and we're gonna add a little bit of shading just around our sclera and in the corners of our eyes just to give it a little bit more depth. So what we're gonna do is take our Jumbo Jet Pencil 
And just with a very light hand, up here at the top under our lid, just going to add a little bit of shading. So we're going to continue our shading around the side of the sclera here. And come under because this is a round shape. And then I'm going to come in in the corners of our eye and add a little bit of shading in here, just along the edge of the sclera. So now we're going to want to go ahead and add in our eyelashes and an eyelid. So when you have your eye open, you have just a slight crease above your eye. So you're just going to add a little semicircle at the top. And then for our eyelashes, we're going to make just a swooping motion with our pastel. Now I picked black, but you can pick any color you want for your eyelashes. And they're going to start off small. We're just going to curve them up like that. You can make yours curlier if you want. And they get bigger as they go out to the corner of our eye. Now, I want to make my eyelashes a little bit fatter. So from the top of my eyelash coming down, I'm going to create what is basically a curved triangle. Let's do that for each one. So now we have our completed eye color wheel. If you would like to take it a step further, you can color in your background of your eye uh, and you can practice doing color mixing as you color it in. If not, then you can go ahead and leave it right here and use it as reference for doing color mixing in the future. I hope you guys all had fun. I had so much fun working with you on this project and I can't wait to see you on the next Art Explorations for Kids. Thank you.